Okay, welcome everybody to another week of our science calls here at Rain International. This week, I am super excited to take some time and make an introduction to one of our newer members of our scientific advisory, uh, an absolutely fantastic individual who we will both be able to learn a little bit more about today. Um, and of course, his name is Dr. Mohammed Hassan. And uh, Dr. Hassan has been, I'm going to read a couple of these notes from him. He currently um, has been working on a lot of research development, um, has a PhD of organic chemistry from Howard University, over 25 years of experience in the R&D industry. Um, he has an expertise in formula and process development in multiple uh, facets of the human physiology. Um, he has co-authored and authored more than 25 U.S. and global patents um, with, of course, several uh, reputable publications as well on professional journals. So this individual, Dr. Hassan, man, I am so excited to have you with us. I'm excited to learn a little bit more about you, and I'm certainly honored to be able to uh, present you to our RAIN partners and let them know that here at RAIN, we really do have a driving passion for the science of our products and what people can do to improve their health and their situation. So um, everybody, Dr. Hassan, would you mind taking a, a few minutes, giving your background, your experiences, and, uh, and what has led you to, uh, to us today? Well, thank you, Russ. Uh, it's my pleasure to be a part of the team, and I'm more than happy to share my experience and tell you who, who I am. Uh, originally, I'm from Sierra Leone born and raised there. For those who don't know where Sierra Leone is, it's uh, in West Africa. It's, uh, it's, well, it was once a, Br a British colony, and so we have the same um, uh, system of education <coughs> as Britain. So I did my, uh, my undergrad in uh, Sierra Leone um, with uh, an honors degree in chemistry and then minor in mathematics. I taught there in a high school as well as a, in a college. I taught chemistry in a college for three years before I came over to graduate school at Howard University. Like you said, I did my PhD in organic chemistry and uh, organic chemistry, um, I have developed interest uh, since I was young. And let me just give you a little story how the interest came about. I think when I was, uh, I think a junior high school, something like that, I was uh, very close to traditional people, particularly the, the herbalists. They go to the bush, they brought some herbs, and they'll tell you this is good for this, it's good for that. One thing in particular that actually caught my, uh, my interest was uh, uh, one time this guy asked me to go to the bush and uh, got some herbs for somebody. And in particular, he told me, make sure you go there before sunrise. So my question to him was, why, why before sunrise? And he says, if you go after sunrise, the herbs will not work. So I was really puzzled by then. I didn't have much of a science background. And up to before, up to the time I went to university, uh, harvesting the herbs. So later in my life, when I started to do photochemistry, then I realized that. Oh, it hit mute again. A, there is what you call dissociation of certain active compounds. Now, this guy, he doesn't know how to explain it. Only he, he knows by observation that if you harvest the, the herbs after sunrise, they will not work because the active compound is no longer in the active form. It is in an, in an inactive form because of uh, photo excitation. So that, to me, that was really, really interesting how nature really works. And the other thing, the other thing also that um, caught my interest was uh, 
my grandma, my mother. I remember when my younger siblings, they have like gum disease. All they use, all they use was uh, fresh tomatoes. They will take fresh tomatoes and then, and then just try to clean their gums with the fresh tomatoes. Within three days, those gums will heal up. So I was trying, I was thinking, what is actually in these fresh tomatoes that, that is so powerful to heal the gums? So that's where the interest actually started to, to where I am today, doing organic chemistry in grad school and the things that I'm doing today. That's, that's incredible. I, I actually have, as you're saying that, thinking about what also, what sparks us and what gets us excited to do what we do each and every day, thinking about that and how those experiences have led you to where you're at now. Now, you reside in the United States and you're in Baltimore, is that right? I'm, uh, I'm in Maryland, very close to Washington, D.C. Um, less than 10 minutes from, from, from where I am to Washington, D.C. I'm in the U.S. for sure. And uh, I, I've always had a passion of developing products. You know, um, my, uh, my greatest satisfaction is actually to see a product, to see products that I, that I develop on the shelf for, for humanity. It gives me, it gives me a, lot of, a lot of satisfaction. And I have done so. I have done so in oral care. I have done so in uh, skin cleansing, ha excuse me, hands and body. I have done so in many, many, many areas, products in the US and products around the globe. Yeah, it's incredible. It's such a pleasure to be able to have you here with us to help and continue to develop our science and continue to develop as we progress as a company focusing on a course C nutrition. One of the questions that I love to ask individuals, you know, of your caliber is what do you see? You know, understanding there's so many aspects of one's health and what they can do to improve their, their overall health and their physiology. What is something that you like to focus in on and educate people to do when it comes to their health? Well, uh... Well, the human being, as we age, um, our body cells begin to deteriorate. And uh, it's up to us actually to slow down the deterioration. And, and so uh, you hear all the time about anti antioxidants, anti-inflammation, all these uh, analgesics and so forth. To me, there's a lot of noise out there, you know, not because they say this is uh, good for antioxidant, it's going to make you look younger, you, you think it's, it's going to work, or they say this is uh, it's good for anti-inflammation, it's going to help you with your pain, your joint pain. Well, there are, there are many things that you have to look into first. What is the source of those ingredients? How are those ingredients actually processed? Because I look at processing, manufacturing, just like you're preparing a meal, you're cooking a meal. There is, a, there is an order, almost a specific order in which you add the ingredients. And if you don't follow the, the, the order and the timing in terms of cooking, you end up with something that you'll not be able to eat or enjoy. You know? Otherwise, you might as well say, let me take all the ingredients, put them together, and then just boil it for, for five, ten minutes, I'm done. No, it doesn't go like that. So processing, manufacturing is as key as the ingredients itself. The ingredients, where the ingredients is cultivated and harvested. Remember I told you about harvesting earth before sunrise <laughs> and uh, after sunrise, the differences. So all these things are related, but uh, people don't pay attention to the simple things just because this plant has an ingredient that is good for for uh, cell damage, what we call antioxidation, is good all the time. No, 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 it doesn't go like that. You know, it's the time of harvesting it's, and how it's processed, that's how you get the benefit of the ingredient. So people should pay careful attention to the sources of the ingredients and also how these ingredients are processed. That's a great point, paying attention to those, some of those details. I am so honored at Rain because of the relationships that we've had 
with some of the manufacturing facilities that we have, we understand that the, there is a significant component to this process. And I know you've had a little bit of experience in understanding some of those manufacturing pieces um, and even understanding some of the facilities that we use as a company. And I think that it would be great, again, to edify the fact that as we talk about this paying attention, you know, one of the things that Rain has always wanted to key in on is, again, putting in therapeutic quantities of raw ingredients to care for that process of that particular product so that when we do a test on it or people consume it, there's going to be those desired results that we speak of and we end up seeing overall health. Your, your tip and your information about paying attention to some of those things, I think in a big way that Rain, again, thinks about that a lot for people in the products that we produce. Um, and knowing that you have some experience with that, with some of the manufacturing um, in some facilities that you've worked with and are working with um, as it relates to Rain, what else would you say as far as like what those facilities do and they, how they key in on this point of taking care of the raw goods everywhere through the step of the process so that we have a fantastic end product. What would you say to that? Well, yeah, that is, uh, that is key. That is key, like I said in the beginning, even uh, from the raw materials themselves, how they are harvested and uh, how they get uh, before, before even being processed into a finished product, how they are being handled how they have been stored. That is key. The next phase is will be in the processing. There are a lot of uh, temperature controls which uh, uh, people don't pay attention to or people don't appreciate. Temperature control in making products is as key as the pH control. Because also the pH of the, of, of the product is just as important as the overall product because if you are outside the effective pH range, then your, your, uh, your ingredients will not be absorbed by the body. And you are not only what you eat, but what you absorb. So pH is really key in that. And uh, when, when these things are being processed, you see, we, we specify a pH range. For example, they say between three and six. What it's telling you is that you have to be within that range. Why? Outside that range is not effective. I'll give you an example. There is a, there is a, a unique antimicrobial of broad specificity. It, it, it covers from a gram positive to gram negative, has a wide range, but then it's only effective when the pH is less than six. Sorry, it was less than seven. When it goes above seven, you are now in the alkaline territory. Why is it so? Because when you're above pH seven, it's no longer the molecular phenolic compound that you have. Now it's in the form of a salt. And if it's in the form of a salt, which is a phenolic, then it's inactive. And this is, why, this is where the copycats, the copycats don't understand. You know, you see a lot of uh, me too type products out there with the same ingredients, but then consumers don't know. They don't know how effective they are. You go outside that pH range that I told you, they are as useless as anything, you know. So that's why I said everything is, is important from the ingredient, the way it's processed, and even the packaging as well is important as well. I am looking so forward to learning more and more from you over the, these coming weeks and months ahead. I really appreciate that insight, that information. And I hope that to all of our RAIN partners, it gives you a taste again of the quality and the understanding of, of the caliber of people that we want to have represent our products and to be able to go and really ensure that there's science and credibility. And this again is clear evidence of that that we do care about our products. So maybe last question, Dr. Hassan, and then we'll let you go. What, uh, what is your feelings as it relates to seed nutrition? Something again that RAIN stands for and stands behind. Everything we do will be seed based. And what are your feelings as it relates to the power of the seed? Well, 
the right seed, not just seed, the right seed. <laughs> seed is everything though. Seed is like uh, the miniature of a plant. And so it's everything. And uh, it depends uh, how, you, how you're able to get to the seed. Was the plant in the first instance, uh, is it um, a plant that has been modified genetically? Or process-wise, are you getting the, the, right, the right kind of seed based on the environment that it's cultivated? That's another one, you know? And uh, this, this, this reminds me of uh, palm fish and wild fish, you know? like palm salmon and wild salmon. Even the texture, even the color of the, of the meat is different. So you, you, you may wanna argue, it's fish, it's fish. Yeah, it's fish, but it's different. Genetically, it has been modified. So the seed from the right environment, from almost like a virgin type soil, a soil that is uh, free of uh, chemicals, you know, Will give you everything. So and so when we talk about seed, you have to start from there. A seed from a, a virgin soil, chemical free, pollution free, will give you everything that you need. Whatever you harvest from the leaves, whatever you harvest from the from the uh, bark, the stem, whatever you harvest from the roots is all in the seed. I love this. I love seed nutrition. I love that, again, it's a universal language. People understand the power of a seed that they can place in the ground and with that proper soil, right, the proper sunlight, the proper care, it's going to, again, produce and yield miraculous uh, trees, plants, vegetables. And it really, again, is taken for granted, but yet it is miraculous. And the thing that we here at Rain celebrate all the time is, again, that seed nutrition. Well, Dr. Hassan, I appreciate you. I'm glad that we had this opportunity to give a little introduction to all of our ring partners uh, on you. We're looking forward to learning more from you here in the near future. But again, massive appreciation to you for the time spent today and uh, wishing you all the best. And we'll catch you next time. Thanks, everybody. It's my, it's my pleasure. And thank you very much for having me. Okay, bye-bye.